Welcome to the Ask the Pro. I'm your host and your coach, Chris Dufay, and this is where I'm giving you what's needed to create the online business, the money, the freedom, the life that you want. Now, this episode is a special one. This is a coaching case study where I hit the record button in a consultation to give you the insights that you can take on right today. This is where Sean Sid comes on for a consultation with me and we delve in what are the exact steps to get his fitness business from where it is today to where he wants to go. Now, the reason I do these case study episodes is because along with the strategy and tactics and interview episodes, these give you the real world, what's going on and what to do. Especially if you're confused with how to get more clients, how to grow your following, how to turn your following into your clients and what the starting steps are to get your online business up and running or if you're already started to get it moving big and it to give you what you really want now I'll be holding more of these and if you follow me on Facebook or Instagram you'll see the post go up for when I have a slot open up but you can jump the queue if you listen get in contact with me give me a spiel on where you are at with your business and what you're looking for and then I take these on. I don't just take anyone on for these. These are obviously real consultations that I'm spending my time to be able to give you the actual insights. And as always, I follow it up with what the steps need to be as well. Now, some things can be confidential as well, which obviously don't make it onto these episodes. But what is great about when I do do these, we do keep them very open and honest. So there might be only a couple of things that do get scrubbed out, but you won't even notice those things because obviously we don't want to completely unveil everything but this is where you're going to get the real insights as well now this episode is brought to you by my body blends and my favorite the superfood elixir so if you want the fuss free and proven programs guides and products to transform your body and health be sure to head on over to mybodyblends.com and tune into the my body blends podcast as i'll be able to give you the actual coaching insights to how to get into the body and health that you want and that's coming out every single Monday. Now, if you're loving this, be sure to hit subscribe and don't miss out. You can click on over to leave a review which puts a huge smile on my dial. Though to really get the most out of you being here with me right now, click on over to chrisdufay.com. That's chris, D-U-F-E-Y.com. Right now on there is the free guides and actually the coaching that's coming out of the pro circle that you can take on. So whether you want to be able to grow your clients, whether you want to double or triple your income online, or whether you want to be able to start your online coaching business, you can actually head on over to chrisdufay.com forward slash start here. This is where I've had made the actual quiz. So you answer the questions to find out where you are right now, and then I'm able to give you the actual free coaching insights, the programs, the step-by-steps for what you need to be doing to get the fitness business of your dreams. Now, it's time to bring on this consultation. I want you to get in contact with me after this, and I want you to be able to take this episode and put it into action. Most of all, you have to pull the trigger after listening to these episodes. Don't just hoard more information, take it on board, and then let's get moving. Sean, welcome to the Ask the Pro podcast, mate. I'm very, very happy and thankful that obviously you want to come and do this, have this consultation. We can hit the record button and we're able to obviously share this out. But really, this is about you. This is about getting you the business that you want. Um, So pretty much what we're going to do is we've had a bit of a chat before um, that we've hit record and I want to kind of like get some insights, put some context down into everything. But big man, how are you feeling? Yeah, I'm really good. I'm excited to get on board, Chris, and uh, get this underway. All right, let's get this cracking along. So, um, Sean, let's just, I'll just put some real quick context down for the listener and where we're at now. Obviously, I'm, I need to delve deeper into the question. So, obviously, the questioning that we'll go into in this consultation is obviously going to give me what's needed to start mapping everything out. Now, you're at an anytime gym, so obviously people in Australia will probably know what anytime uh, gym is. So obviously we're talking a commercial gym situation. You are paying rent to be there on a week-to-week basis. Um, and obviously you have certain restrictions about what you can and what you can't do. We'll delve into that later to see if there are any roadblocks 
to say any marketing strategies that we can implement or anything like that at all. Um, at the moment, you're running about 25 to 30 sessions a week. Charge rate, you're looking at about between a range of 50 to $80 and we're looking at about 45 minute sessions. So that gives us about of a basis of where you're at right now. Now, before we really delve into this and knowing the target that we need to really rocket forwards to, what's the goal? Um, I think, Chris, at the moment, like, I'm quite happy for my age. I'm making more money than most other people. But there is that instability. So if I get sick, if I go away on holidays, or if I, if I injured myself and broke my leg and I couldn't work for two, three, four weeks, you know, I'd have to pay my rent to the gym and then my income stream would completely dry up as well. So it's, I guess there's that um, in, um, uncertainty. The with security the factor. Hundred percent. Okay, cool. What's like, what would be the aim of what you do? Like what's kind of like in your head towards the goal that you're moving towards? I think for myself to set up a business where I wouldn't have to feel that uncertainty or stress where if I didn't make my 5am sessions for three, four weeks that my income stream would completely dry up. So that there's other income sources coming into the business, whether it be online or like you talked about in some of your other podcasts with the um, targeting market, target market, the the high end kind of thing where you've got um, travel, fitness travel, or, um, you know, I'm not too sure yet, but something along those lines. Okay, beautiful. Like, is there any kind of um, business model in which you see someone else run that you're like, I like that? Well, the first person I saw, obviously, was yourself. So I saw you down at... <laughs> you get brownie points for that one, John. <laughs> down at Monoval doing um, with Fitness First and then obviously going over to Dubai and then now you're in Bali. It's Yeah, that, that's kind of the direction, obviously, everyone would want to see their business go in. Cool. Okay, awesome. So... Um... This is like with a lot of clients that come on board, this is something that kind of comes up and it's a question that I ask everyone, especially when saying, especially the stuff that you're saying, Sean, and that is, do you want to continue the face-to-face -face work um, or do you want to completely get rid of it? I think everyone, everyone who's a really good personal trainer, Chris, they do it because they love helping people. And like I have... You know, there's a couple of my clients I like. I love to train, and if I won twenty million dollars tomorrow, I'd probably still keep training them. So it's it's not that I don't love my job and love the one-on-one -on -one clients. It's just you know, once I hit that kind of roof of doing forty sessions a week, it was just exhausting. So no, I definitely want to keep doing what I'm doing, but obviously look at some extra income coming in somehow. Okay, beautiful. So this is good to know as we kind of map out. So the way that I kind of see this model working is obviously keeping the face-to-face -face work, um, having a leverage system for the face-to-face -to, -face to grow. So say for instance, do we start bringing on trainers to start working on underneath you? Um, does that put you on an, another level? So obviously let's say, something I see actually a lot of time with the clients that I do is um, you kind of get to a point where you're gonna keep about maybe 10 to 12 face-to-face -face hours of work. You're charging a premium um, for that rate. So you kind of like take that step up, your hourly rate goes up and you're charging the way you're doing it. Um, trainers can start working for you. You obviously start feeding them clientele because you've obviously will have the the marketing tactics you the client the client attraction system working for you so that obviously feeds so say if you was like you know what i'm going away for a month and i don't want to like i'm not going to be here then obviously you lose one revenue stream of the face-to-face -face work that you're doing but you've still got so many other pillars working does that make sense yeah Okay, beautiful. So when we start talking about the pillars in which we can put in, obviously we can start talking, one, we've got the face-to-face -face right now. Two, um, you can have trainers working for yourself. Three, uh, supplementation is one, obviously being able to like refer and recommend the quality supplementation like shit. We'd, we don't want to be talking about the crappy stuff that um, so many trainers are trying to get away with, kind of like forcing down their client's throat. Like that pisses me off. Um, Another re thing that we've obviously touched upon is say like the online fitness business. Now in your mind with the online work, where do you want it to go? Like, is it a one-on-one -on -one 
kind of style personal online personal training? Is it a group? Is it a membership site? Is it just products you create that you sell? Where do you see it right now? Um, I think ultimately combining my love of traveling and fitness would be kind of the pinnacle of what what I'd be looking at doing. So, you know, something like um, adventure tours or fitness tourism, because obviously health tourism has been blowing up so much the past five years as an industry. I think there would be a real market in there for kind of guys like with our skill set and kind of passion for traveling and um, combining the two. We're going to take a quick break and we'll be back in a split with so much more for you. Now, I know you're listening and tuning in because you know how important your health is and how this can also catapult your business. This is why I'm very happy to say that this podcast is sponsored by My Body Blends and my favorite, the Superfood Elixir, the powerful greens drink. Now, this is designed specially to boost energy, aids detoxification, enhances the ability to burn fat, supports healthy carbohydrate metabolism, and best of all, is voted best tasting greens drink. Now, myself and the My Body Blends team are looking for ambassadors to join. So you and your clients get the health benefits plus adding in a strong income stream for you and your business. The ambassador program, which is by application only, means you get exclusive access to sell my body blends products like Superfood Elixir to your clients, plus giving you the special ambassador pricing and bonuses. So once you become an ambassador, you can join the other top health and fitness players that are adding thousands to their week's income. Now, there is only a limited number of ambassadors we are taking on board as this is a tribe leading the way together. So to apply and to join, go to mybodyblend.com forward slash ambassador or add the checkout code that is turning pro or one word when you're going to get your own superfood elixir to order plus you're going to get free shipping and a bonus to save yourself over $250 instantly so just use that coupon code turning pro in the checkout and you can save over 250 right now all on mybodyblends.com totally no no no, no, no. the Next week, do you know what I mean? Luke Lehman and I are holding a physique coach intensive here in Bali and I'm actually um, selling out the next fitness retreat here as well. Like it's something that's, it's a hot market, especially if you kind of position yourself in the right way. Um, Especially depending on where you want to take it. This kind of takes to my next question though, is like, what do you want to be world's best at? What do you want to be known for? Um... (laughs) <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure because that's a hard one. <laughs> no, is, look, whenever I ask this question to someone for the first time, like on this consultation or when they first start, it's always like, I don't expect, I don't really expect an answer. I don't expect a solid answer a hundred percent because this is something that we kind of want to delve around into. Now, this is kind of like, this is like creating a USP, a unique selling proposition takes time because you really have to think about it. You really got to kind of reflect upon yourself. You've got to probably do a bit of research out in the market and kind of then come back to it to really generate it. But on your side, just for now, what are a few things that you really want to be known for? Like what type of clientele do you want to be working for? What results do you want to be known for? Um, oh, that's a bit easier, Chris. I find for myself that you touched on it before, some of the, the trainers trying to pump dodgy supplements onto their clients, um, and they're just dodgy trainers. Like, I think I pride myself on spending extra time with my clients, and I'm not, I have kind of like a really good base of clients that I'll see two to three times a week rather than seeing them once a week and spending minimal face time with. So, I focus on getting results with the people that I see and building a, um, more of a connection with the people that I am seeing. So um, most of my clients I've had since I started two and a half years ago. So um, probably more boutique than mm, just big size. So better quality clients rather than heaps of clients paying minimal rate. Okay, good. So you want to go more like the Rolls Royce type of client, kind of like really um, 
like having a higher charge and then obviously being able to completely over deliver on what they need, which I think is actually really needed because a lot of people don't do this. Um, like I, I know some trainers in the States that charge an absolute arm and a leg. Like I'm talking about hundreds of thousands of dollars per client, but obviously it is the, it is the best service going around. So one thing that I'll put to you now is to actually map out after we've talked and for you to come back with, like I'll, I'll make a list of things that you kind of like homework that you've got to come back with and really make sure that we can catapult from. But one definitely thing would be what is the, service that you want to provide like what are the things that you're going to include when someone comes on board what is the over delivery like where does that wow factor really come in from um with the type of clientele that you want to work with though like is it like where do you see the clients that you just like want like where is your real uniqueness lay right now um my early morning clients so from five to eight i've got three executives i see and i've seen them for nearly two years now and I've got them every day or four days a week. So whether that's whether that can be considered like a kind of a niche market, I'm not sure. But no, totally, yeah. Look, especially when I was in Sydney, um, it was the that like I had heaps of CEOs and executives coming to me and obviously that they need that kind of like early time slot as well. So I think tapping into that market um, is really, really needed. I'm not sure if you've listened to the episode that I did with John Logo about high ticket selling, but if for the listener as well right now, if you haven't, go back and listen to that one. Like I was just talking to John just the other day and we're talking about how to tap into the CEOs and executive network. Um, it's really easy. Like it is really, really easy to be able to get in there. You just need to be able to do it in such a way where you're obviously showcasing what the benefits are. Like if you think about the environment or characteristics of what this person is going to be like the market that you want to tap into one they don't have time to piss about so you need to be really on the ball with this is what needs to happen it needs to be very structured and obviously you need to be very upfront about what the results are so there's just no what i like about it it's black and white when you deal with this type of clientele um and obviously this is a market that you can directly tap into like knowing Knowing you, like how much I know so far from the conversations that we've had before and everything, you can definitely jump into this, Sean. There's no dramas with that. Um, let's delve into a little bit more of the marketing and what like the client act client acquisition plan is going to be like. At the moment, what are you doing to attract new clients in? This year, Chris, I've been trying to work on my Facebook. So I've got all the new, I've got a new photo shoot done, found a graphic designer, got some new posters done up. And I'm trying to be in finding like um, I say two of my client, but two of my best clients are um, executives. They're female executives, so just just trying to sit down and think to myself, what would attract these kind of women? Like, trying to think how I pick these clients up in the first place, what kind of places they frequent, who they hang out with, who they talk to in their spare time, and just trying to hit those places hard with whether it's um, whether it's paper marketing or on Facebook marketing. Okay, brilliant. With the actual, um, let's just kind of like transition this a little bit across to more the online world of things. Where do you see, like, are you getting, say, people coming to you online already, say, through your social media or, say, Facebook, um, inquiring about coming on board or what you offer and what you do? That's that's why I was, I'm really happy to get have a chat with you about it, Chris. It, it seems really confusing to me because the first kind of, bunch of money I spent on the Facebook ads. It wasn't much, but I got a bunch of requests and replies straight back on the business page. Look, people looking for a PT, people looking for sessions. But then the most recent kind of like, um, batch of ads that got made up and I've put out, I haven't got anything back. So it's a bit of a mystery to me. Okay. I'll tell you what, what you can do for me um, is take screenshots of the actual ads that you did before and take screenshots of the analytics of both the first one and second one, send them through me um, via email and I'll look at and see what the difference is between the two and we can we can nail that off pretty easily. Um, now, this is really good. So if we talked about the online business rather than the face-to-face -face just now, okay, being able to look at the clients that you want to work with, is this still going to be the same clientele that you want to pick up on the online world? 
I think there might be some crossover, but that would be a little bit different. So with the fit tourism kind of side of things, that would be um, obviously more people overseas, but obviously on the higher income, like, like it could be, there could be some crossover, I think. With your face-to-face -face personal training right now, Sean, how are you selling the actual personal training? Like, is it through packages? Is it one-off? Like, how did, how's that actual setup going? Um, about 12 months ago, I've figured out that you need to get people on direct debits or on a on a 12 month kind of contract um because um people don't have as much motivation to train as you and me do so since doing that business has been like a lot more steady and consistent which has been good so pe people will come in um they'll give me a call or a message ask them to come in in person we'll have a chat we'll go over their goals i can talk to them about what i'll offer them over the next six 12 months i'll run them through a session usually show them how I structure my sessions and then I'll sit them down, show them direct debit form, explain everything in their sign on the, on the black line. All right. Beautiful. What is, how do you present the actual, like what you do, what you give, what the benefits are? Um, I like to, I like to sit them down and explain to them why my programming and the way I train them will work better than one training by themselves and two, usually training with any of the other trainers that I know. Um, I take them through a session. I usually show them, I get them to show me what they might have been doing by themselves. Then I'll show them how we should be training and what the difference is and why it's going to make a big difference to, to their body and why they're going to look better naked when they train like this. Yep. Okay. No, 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 that's good. That's good. So one thing that we can definitely start implementing is something like a option of the packages that you actually give like because obviously people come to you or they come to any personal trainer and there's a wide range of what they're looking for what they actually need and how it actually goes down so the way that this can be really easily and effectively done is obviously having say you could even have like one page like a presentation and it's just like look these are the different packages that I offer. This is what's included in each of them. Um, these are the features. So this is like what the actual, like they're looking at technically of being included, but these are the benefits. And this is what you would kind of like really hammer home with what you're saying in your words to just to make sure on an emotional level, they understand what is actually, what they're getting. Um, but this also means to say, if someone comes to you <clears throat> and they've got, they've got a, a, a much smaller budget, do you know what I mean? You could be like, okay, this is what you're going to need. But the biggest thing that I'm kind of wrapping this around is you need to prescribe what that client needs to be able to get the results that they want. So this is the most important thing is you need to be able to say, okay, you're saying to me, John, that you want to be able to lose 35 kilos, get down to 10% body fat and put on X amount, blah, 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 in this short amount of time or, or in this time frame. Um, this is what you're going to need to do. You're going to need to come and see me four times a week, you're gonna to need to train by yourself two times a week, I'll program for those things. This is gonna be how the nutritional guidelines are gonna be met, like blah, 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 do you know what I mean? So it goes through what's needed. The biggest thing that I kind of see where trainers can fall off really easily is they're not, they're not prescribing what's needed for the client to get to the results where they're looking for. And like I remember doing this in Sydney, I did in Dubai, now I get all the other clients to do it now, is when they actually sit down and take them through this process, the client can very simply sit there and go, oh, this is black and white. Okay, I understand what I need to do to be able to get the results that I want. And this is the actual action. Because in a marketing standpoint, if you are able to describe to the customer what their problem is better than they can understand it, but also then show them what's needed for them to get the actual solution or solve the problem that they have, you will naturally be seen as the person who can solve it. You don't even need to showcase that you, like you don't even need to technically say sell because everything that you've done before that has already actually done it for you. Do you know what I mean? Okay, that makes sense. Beautiful. Okay, so this is really good. So let's think about this. With the online um, coaching side of things, what would you want to serve them? How would you give them the results that they're looking for? Um, detailed nutrition plans. Yep. Just off the top of your head, kind of list them all yeah. out for what you're thinking. So nutrition, program, programming, and the lifestyle section. Okay, beautiful. And what do you think, um, 
is with the type of clients that you're thinking about, obviously higher end and maybe you're even thinking about more of the overseas style, what do you think is the big difference between what they need to be able to actually get? As in what I want your mindset right now is like, what is that, I call it like a signature system. So like, what is your signature system in which they're going to get the best possible results? So what do they need to get the best results in the quickest way, in the easiest way? Um, obviously, obviously they need to respect, respect the trainer or respect, respect us to listen to what we're saying. So there's the adherence to the program on the nutrition's there. Um, it needs to be detailed and in depth enough that it covers everything. And what else? It needs to be presented and clear and easy to read and easy to understand formats. Okay, good. Yeah, already yeah. those three things are really good. The first one with like um, getting someone to adhere to the plan, the kind of having the authority factor. Now, this is something that we'll kind of wrap back around. This is the next thing I want to bring up as in what you need to be doing to put yourself out there to be able to attract the clientele. And a big part of that is going to be you producing the content that shows that you are the expert, authority, go-to trainer, whatever you want to call it. That's the aspect in which you're going to come about. So when people come to you, they're going to, they're going to be very willing to adhere to anything that you say. Now, this is a really big problem when you look at personal trainers, especially kind of like the more average personal trainers, just dealing with like general pop clients, that the clientele doesn't really understand the difference between what this trainer has, why they're so good and why they need to listen to them. So this is why people will naturally deviate off a diet or deviate off their training plan. Um, I was talking about this yesterday with Luke Lehman as we were recording another podcast. The importance here is obviously coming to the point where they are going to listen to you and they're going to be very willing to do things that they have Sorry, they're willing to do things differently to what they have been doing. Okay. Um, okay, beautiful. So let's come back around. So we've talked about what you're like, you've got to put your USP together, what that's going to be, the type of clientele that you're going to be attracting. Next is obviously how you can be attracting the clientele and effectively growing your following. So let's kind of cover right now, how are you going to grow a following? How are you going to turn that following into customers and clients? So firstly, we want to look at the content that you produce. Now, do you have a website at the moment, Sean? No. Good. Don't worry about it. This isn't the first thing that you need. I'm happy you said that because this is a point that I can hammer home for the other listeners as well. Building an online personal training business does not mean that you have to have the website to begin with. Obviously, you do need one soon, but the thing is you will get the big attraction of using social media first and then being able to parlay that onto the website and then doing the steps forward. So the first things first is you're going to need to put together a calendar or a schedule in which you're going to just simply produce content. So the first thing is sit down with that perfect client in mind of what that target market is really going to be like. List out all the important questions that you need to be able to follow through with. Um, actually, I tell you what, are you in the um, private Facebook group, the Fitness Business Success Circle? I don't think so. Okay, it's a, it's a free group that I've started, so obviously anyone else can come and join. I'll make sure that you join that because I've put a video in there that's a six minute um, it's a six minute exercise to go through to finding out the perfect content that you need to produce plus so much more. So I'll give that to you. That'll make it so much quicker than me having to explain it all here. Obviously from there, once you understand what you need to do, I need you to put together what content you're going to be creating and how often you're going to be creating. So let's just say, look, are you happy to get on video? You're a good looking lad. Obviously let's get that mug in front of the camera. Hey. Eh? Perfect, yeah. All right, beautiful. So obviously, I really am a big fan of video because you can um, you can build 
a rapport and a relationship with someone so much easier. Say, like listening to a podcast is fantastic because we're plugged into people's ears. They can be doing anything right now. Um, reading an article, like, okay, only people only have a certain time to really sit down and read a long article. But when you're watching a video, you're getting auditory, you're getting the visual, and then you're being able to suck everything in, and then you're able to post anything below what those blog posts are that include the videos. So when you actually shoot the videos, think of something really easily. Shoot them, say, three to five minutes long just to begin with, and just nail one topic per episode. So this is the most important thing, is like, choose, like, okay, let's actually do this right now. What would be two topics that you think CEOs really need to be able to get the results they are looking for? Uh, how to cook healthy meals quickly. Yep. Family, and how to balance work and training. Perfect. Okay, so this is a really good thing. So let's say balance work and training first off. One of the most important things you can hammer home is like, look, you don't need to be training for say 90 minutes or 60 minutes. Like sessions can be shorter and still be very effective. You don't need to be training six or seven times a week. Things can be a lot easier. You could only be training say three to four times a week. Break this down into the science of why this actually is, but also give it into the easy to consume way for them. Because remember, I find a lot of trainers are producing content that aren't for their clientele. They're just trying to impress their colleagues. But the thing is, think about where the level of uh, your client is at to be able to consume that information and talk to them in that language. Um, say with the food prep side of things, be like, actually, this is a really good for CEOs. All the CEOs, like, they're not going to sit down in a board meeting and pull out their Tupperware. Like, that shit ain't gonna happen, do you know what I mean? They also are completely flat out with time. So eating, say, a high frequency diet, a meal diet, isn't gonna work for them. So you have to structure it about, look, you can only be eating, say, three meals a day. Let's look at how you can structure three meals a day and how it's gonna work for you to lose weight. And then if you can fit a fourth meal, this is how it can work. So you can see how these episodes delve into one topic, but you can also flow into how it helps them depending on where they're at. Um, the next thing obviously with content production is creating what you're going to continually produce. So this is like having an editorial calendar mapped out. This is like, okay, I'm going to shoot these videos at this time. This is when it's going to be published. So one of the biggest and most important things with actually producing content is batch task it, Sean. Don't try and think that you can just like shoot one video a day because it's okay, but it's not great. I'd rather you sit down one day and shoot like 15 videos and then like edit them and then have them ready to rock, say for the next two weeks. And that way you're always gonna be ahead of schedule and there's no stress about it, but you'll also produce much better videos that way as well. Does that make sense? And then just drip feed them. So yes. those videos of you walking along the rice paddies, you might have done 10 of those in one day. Mate, to be really honest, sometimes yeah. when I do that, I'll go for two walks in a day and I'll probably shoot yeah. four of them in one day. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. As in, I'll shoot one walk in one way, one walk in the other way, and I'll go for <laughs> another walk in the middle of the day. I'll go one walk in one way, one walk in the other way, and I'll sit down about, I don't need to do another one for two weeks. Perfect. That way all my cardio is done at the same time. <laughs> but yeah, exactly right. Like that, that's really important. Like look, later today, um, later today I'll be shooting videos, like uh, not the kind of walking videos, the other style videos are a bit more on point. Um, and I'll probably try to pump out about six to seven episodes just today. So I know that next week that I can do the same. So I'm always trying to create a library of content ahead because this is the way to think about it like these are all assets that you need to be doing um actually look luke lehman and i over the last two days we produced eight different podcast episodes so like in wow. a day and a half we did eight episodes that are ready to rock and roll to then drip fed out which means we don't need to continually be stressed about oh shit i've got to produce another video i've got to do another episode like and you're always trying to chase your tail with it so i always say get ahead of schedule and that way you can make the content a lot better as well okay okay brilliant um okay to wrap this in a nutshell because obviously there's a lot of points that i've written down here for you to take on board and one of the most important things is obviously to like not completely flood you because obviously this is like it's a process at the end of the day that you need to go through um oh this is good i think to tell you the truth i don't want you to use paid advertising 
yet. Let me look at the stuff that you've done before so I can give you the tweak because we'll easily be able to change that so we can really rocket it when you do want to turn it back on. Once the real plan of action is, what is your real uniqueness going to be? What is that exact target market that you're going to um, be looking for? What is it that they're going to need to actually be um, produced to get the result that they want? And I'll come back to that in a second. After that, we want like the real customer acquisition plan. So how are you going to grow your following from there? How are you actually going to turn that following into clientele? So say from your videos, are you driving them back to a page where it highlights your coaching? Are you giving them say a free guide, a checklist, a diet, an ebook, like a video series, something like that to help further showcase that you are the man that is going to give them the solution that they need. And then obviously from there, you're able to then have that kind of natural conversion onto a customer and client. Um, then the real thing that I would love to see as well is kind of like when we're talking about your signature system, map it out and have a good draft or a blueprint of what you think it is, especially say, because we're talking about your online business and building it, but don't actually create it yet. What I would want you to do is actually get about 10 to 12 people that are ready to come on and start. And then what you do is you get them on board first and then you create the program that is effectively exactly what they need. Now, if it's just straight one-on-one -on -one personal training, obviously there's a lot of tailor um, customization and tailoring the program to each and every person as they go along. But the biggest thing is that I see um, trainers doing wrong with online personal training is they don't have a system in which to do it. So like you could sit down and say, right, a program, a diet, a protocol, and then whip that out to one client. Then you look at the next client and you have to write a new program, a new protocol, a new diet. And But the thing is, it takes too much time. So if you effectively um, calculated your effective hourly rate, it would be much lower compared to when you have a right system in place. And that's where you can really be traveling the world, working a lot less, but having a much bigger impact on everyone else. Perfect. Does that sound good? Yeah, that makes, that makes a lot of sense. Okay, beautiful. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna obviously whip you a message, I'll whip you an email um, after this, I'll kind of outline the biggest things that you need to take action on. There's a few things you'll have to send back to me just to make sure that I can kind of map this out um, and have for you. But the biggest thing is, is obviously just like massively taking action on it. Like, look, firstly, I know what it's like being in the gym and you're at like, you're at 25 to 30 sessions, which is good at the moment. If you push it up to 40, the question's always asked, is it worth it? Like, is that extra little bit of money really worth it because you're pushing yourself? But what you can really be doing is focusing on building a business, building an asset that is gonna give you longevity. And just like what we said at the start is having that security factor of, look, if you did break your leg or if you did wanna go on holidays or if you did just wanna like go live somewhere else, you completely could and it's not gonna crush your business. Perfect. Okay, brilliant. I love it. All right, I'm going to say, I'm going to send this stuff through to you. Um, let's put a two week gap on what needs to happen and the kind of like the next touch point, and then we can nail it from there. Done. Thanks, How's that, Chris. brother? Is that all good? Shit, mate. Yeah, it's awesome. Thanks. I appreciate it a lot. So now it's time for you to click on over to chrisdufay.com. That's chris, D-U-F-E-Y.com to get all the guides and show notes. And if you are wanting the workshops where I walk you through how to build your online business, click on over to chrisdufay.com forward slash start here. This is where I can give you the exact training guides and the workshops for exactly where you're at and the answers that you need. Now, every Friday, I'm coming back to you with a new episode. So be sure to subscribe. And if you haven't already, you're going to be getting the world's best insights, the advice and the answers to give you the business, the money, the freedom and the success and happiness that you want. And I want to give you a huge muchas gracias for being here with me. And as always, get in touch with me via the site or via social as Ask the Pro is about me giving you the answers that you need. So ask away.